Are you a young or frugal investor looking to break into the Airbnb real estate investment game in a foreign country like Panama? One with a nice yielding annual ROI and in an area with high probability to create incredible appreciation value. Maybe you're looking for an investment property where you can do in-house milestone payments for the next three years while the building is being built. And then after it's delivered, this developer will do in-house developer financing for up to five years while your unit is generating income. An investment property with the legal ability to use it as a short-term Airbnb rental. Or if you wanna live in it long-term, you can do that as well. Or live in it part of the year and rent it out as an Airbnb unit the other part of the year. Speaking of legal Airbnb, that's right. Here in Panama City, we have a 45-day minimum rental law. However, this building is registered with the authority of tourism and gives them the ability to allow you as an investor to rent your unit out as a legal Airbnb unit. Now, imagine that same developer has a successful hotel group here in the country of Panama as well and are able to offer you 100% property management services. That goes for looking over the property, handling all the finances, the marketing, the check-in, the cleaning, the maintenance, you name it, they take care of it 100% of the time. And the best part is, they're only half the price as typical property managers here in the country. Hello, my name is Austin Hess, COO and lead relocation specialist for Do Panama Real Estate and Relocation. For more information about our company and our services, I invite you to visit our website, dopanama.com. And if you're here in the city, stop by our office at the Ward Off Astoria Hotel on Level P for swimming pool or by our real estate information desk at the Hilton Hotel, just 10 feet inside the front doors. Welcome to Costa del Este, a modern and newly developed suburb of Panama City, coined as the Miami of this great country. At only eight to 10 minutes to city center, or in the other direction, just 15 minutes to Tucumán International Airport, Costa del Este is centrally located for your convenience. This area, the home of over 125 multinational companies such as Procter & Gamble, Estee Lauder, Samson, Huawei, and so many others not only give you a great opportunity to tap into that all-year rental market that's looking for a condo instead of a hotel room, then you also have the seasonal tourism as well, and on top of that, a John Hopkins Affiliate Hospital opened up just outside the Town Center Mall, giving you the ability to tap into that medical tourism as well. Costa del Este is also an amazing place for activities for both adults and children. There's amazing parks and green spaces. There's an incredible goat cart track, a bowling alley, movie theaters in English. There's even an awesome dog park where you can get an ice cream or food or a drink, depending on what you're looking to do, just hanging out at the cool dog park. Next door, there's a bike and skate park that's absolutely incredible. My son absolutely loves going there with his friends. And next door to that is this incredible jungle gym course that is just so much fun. Whatever you want to do, there's so many activities here in this area of Panama City. And if you're into sports, there's so many great spaces. There's many outdoor turf soccer fields, also covered turf soccer fields. There's also paddle ball and pickleball courts throughout this area. I mean, this sport has really taken Panama City on by surprise. And if you're a total foodie like myself, you'll be happy to know that this area of Panama City has amazing restaurants and cafes. 
Well guys, I'm excited to show you Generation Tower and I'm gonna introduce you to my friend Liz with Burn. This is the developer and we've created a relationship to give you a 360 degree real estate tour of this developer. Come on guys, let's go. All right guys, I'm here with my friend Liz. She's the investment advisor for Impressa's Burn. And you know what? She's just so knowledgeable about not only this project, but all of the burn projects. So I asked her to come on and talk to us a little bit. First and foremost, Liz, nice to see you. Yes, you too. Thank you so much for blessing us in this video today. Uh, can you tell me a little bit, because obviously, you know, people that don't know Panama and don't know about the developers here, a little bit about Burn and what makes Burn such a successful developer. Yeah, for sure. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's always wonderful to see you. Um, okay, so Empresas Burn is actually the largest developer in Panama. They've been in the business for over 40 years. It's a family-run company and they don't just build, uh, they also um, run hotels. They have nine hotels here in Panama. Um, they have real estate business, they have a construction business, uh, they have economy of scale, they have a company that does the concrete, they've got a company that does the glass, the cabinetry, so it's kind of like a one-stop shop. Um, awesome. Yeah, so family company, been in the business for quite some time. That's amazing. Yep. Okay, and so another element, since you brought up a one-stop shop, I think it's really important, especially with people like myself, that are on the move a lot yep. and looking for great investments, that they don't have to put a lot of effort into. I already yeah. talked in the film about, you know, the property management side, but let's talk about the furniture and the packages that come with the purchase of this unit. Okay, so pretty much what we realize is investors are looking for that one-stop shop. They want something easy. Often people are buying for the first time in a foreign company. Uh, they want to work with a company that they can trust, and they also don't want to have to do too much. Pretty much it's wait till the end of the month, get their rent rental income in the bank, mm -hmm. and a complete sort of hands-off yeah. experience. Um, so Empresas Burn in these projects, they actually do on-site property management. So this, this particular project, Generation Tower, has um, on-site property management that looks after everything from the, all the marketing on the third-party websites, the check-ins, the check-outs, the cleanings. They organize events in the building. Um, there'll be room service into, the, into all of the um, condo apartment hotels. Um, pretty much it's a, yeah, a one-stop shop. It's so people can be sort of hands-off. That's amazing. Yeah. And then of course, because every investor out there is going to ask, let's talk about ROI. What is the ROI look for this project? Yeah, so in Panama, we're, we're kind of lucky in a way as an investor when you're looking at Panama as a, as a country because it's not too hard to get your head around it because there's only a few options in Panama that are going to give you a return on investment over 8%. Um, in what happened years ago, we had a construction boom and all these people had bought investment properties and they were putting their properties on third-party websites like Airbnb, VRBO, HomeAway. Uh, and what was happening is the government weren't getting that hotel tax. Um, so these Airbnbs were taking business away from from uh, the hotels the and, government, the tax. the, and the taxes. <laughs> so the government loved taxes, so the government pretty much came in with a blanket law and said, downtown Panama City, it's illegal to do short-term rentals. So there are a couple of opportunities with, um, with short-term rentals, but the building itself has to have the license to do that short-term rental. Of course. Now in Presas Burn, because they've got so much pull with all their hotels, I mean, they've got two, they've got two Western hotels, a Meridian, a Crown Plaza, a Holiday Inn, the Gamboa. Gamboa. Yeah. So they've got tons of hotels. So they were able to get the license for Generation Tower. So now when people invest in Generation Tower, they can actually do short-term rentals and you're always gonna get a much higher return on investment with that short-term rental um, program. Awesome, and if someone's out there is like, hey, you know what, I wanna be a snowbird, I wanna come down three, four months a year, yep. they can come use their unit as much as they want yep. and then they can have it under property management while they're not using it. And yeah, absolutely. So in Generation Tower, it kind of works as a rental pool. So owners actually can use the property themselves for three months a year. Okay. Yeah. Now, Liz, I definitely want to talk about pricing. However, also I heard on the grapevine that the lower floors of this project are going to have some independent living. So yeah. if you could tell us a little bit about how that's going to work, you know, being that the John Hopkins Affiliate Hospital is right next door, how that's going to correspond. And then of course, the pricing for our viewers out there. Okay, so what we realize is we've got so many people that retire in Panama that are kind of thinking, well, what am I gonna do later on, right? So they're looking for that kind of plan B, what's happening next? 
because we have so many expats, as you know, that have moved out to the Coronado, to Gorgona, to the beaches, to Poquete. But there are people now that are wanting to move a little bit closer to the city so that they're closer to hospitals uh, and that whole plan B concept. So the developer has allocated the lower floors in Generation Tower for independent living. So the units are a slightly smaller size, wheelchair accessible with a nurse's station on each floor. Wow. And like you said, the building sits across the street from the Johns Hopkins affiliated hospital, Pacifica Salud. So we're doing a um, we're doing a, a special relationship with the hotel so that we can provide services to people in the independent living. There's so many people moving to Panama that are widowed or traveling by themselves that also want that sense of community. Of they want to be in a building with restaurants, with bars, with people with life. Um, the independent living floors have access to all of the other social areas in Generation Tower. Now that's keeping in mind that Generation Tower is also known as like the Las Vegas of Costa del Este. I'm in excited, a way, I'm excited. In terms of not so much the party vibe, but in terms of the social areas. Um, the whole fifth and sixth floor are swimming pools, outdoor movie theater, running track. You've got a rooftop pool, you've got a rooftop restaurant, a rooftop fitness center. Um, and so the independent living floors also have access to all of these other amenities and they will also have their own independent social areas. Wow. Yeah, so it's got a bit of everything. And then let's talk about the pricing for Generation Tower and then yep. how that all works with the independent living as well. Yeah, so you're looking, the independent living apartments come in under the 200,000 mark. Okay, okay, so a lot depends on the floor. And then the, the standard um, Airbnb concept, short-term rental apartments go for around sort of 230 to 260 is the average price point. Um, and also with this project, we do expect uh, forced appreciation. So as the developer sells, of we course. do expect the prices to keep going up. Um, and yeah, the project's expected to be delivered in, uh, in about three years. And I'm glad you said that because again, one of the things I see that excites most people, especially young investors, or people that just don't have a lot of cash sitting on hand yep. is that, you know, let's talk a little bit about the, the payment breakdown. Yeah, for sure. You know, sure. the three-year the the three year milestone payments and then the five-year in-house financing with Yeah, them. so just 40% is required during construction. So generally, it's 10 to 15% down at the signing of the contract and then a 10% payment for a couple of years and then the final 5%. So you're looking at 40% down in construction. During that three-year During process. the three-year period. Okay. So you're not putting, as the project is going up, you're putting down small installments. And then many people don't know if they're going to want to put their cash in to pay it off in three years or if they would like to um, put, the, put their funds into something else. So what the developer will do is they'll also give five years of, on, of an in-house sort of a payment plan, financing, financing, but it's a payment plan really. So pretty much you put your 40% down, the developer gives you the key, and then we can finance for you for five years. And that interest rate will be based on what, based the, on what the banks are yeah. charging. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna pull some ADHD here. Okay. Because I like the layout of this. Yep. You know, as we've seen through working so strongly together, Burn and Do Panama, you know, everybody loves this model where you have the three years of milestone payments, then you have in house financing with Burn at 5%. Let's talk about Boquete because Boquete is a really favorite area. It's the number one coffee, highest graded coffee in the world. There's so much beauty, and people like that mountainistic town. Yep. You guys have a new project coming out there, huh? Yeah, we've got a new project, similar concept to this, um, but low density, so it's, there are only four floors. Um, and that's a project called Pino Alto. Uh, it's about five minutes from downtown Poquete. Uh, it also comes with on-site property management um, and that hotel license. Uh, what we're finding in Poquete is we're having so many people wanting to age in place, and they're looking for an area where they can buy into like a condo concept, but they don't, they want it to feel kind of a bit more like a home rather than like a high rise. Of course. So we're building a project there. It's actually in construction. Uh, it'll be finished about mid next year, mid 25. Um, and it will have all the amenities like of a hotel. So a restaurant, reading room, fire pits, cause it's chilly up there. That's why people like it. Of course. Um, you've got heated jacuzzis uh, and an onsite nurses station. Uh, and the reason we're doing this is there's so many people that are aging in place and they want to make sure that they've also got that security of having some And in the community site. and yep. friendships and that's awesome. Yeah. Well, guys, any information, I know we gave you a lot, please reach out to my team, info at dopanama.com or send a WhatsApp message, a text message or a phone call to plus 507-6767-9710. We have some cool things going on. You know, when you work with Do Panama and Burn, you know, we created this awesome 360 real estate tour where 
you can come in, whether it's just for a weekend or you wanna come down for a week, and if you end up purchasing, there is a kickback on those expenses that you have. Now, there's some restrictions, but again, just give this a call, send us an email, we can go over all the details. We're looking forward to helping you. Liz, thank you so much. You're welcome. And um, guys, also, if you're already here, because I know a lot of you are already here, uh, one of the things that we're seeing with a lot of these units of people are wanting to have a scooter, right? A couple scooters to scoot around to the different restaurants and cafes. So if you're already in Panama, you live here and you're looking for an investment and you don't need that uh, accommodations and or assistance with their travel, you can get two free scooters from the Do Panama Burn friendship business partnership here. So whatever it is, we're looking forward to taking care of you. Liz is amazing. I look forward to helping you and together we're gonna show you guys exactly how you can make some good money and live a great life in Panama. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at Generation Tower here in Coastal Este. However, if you're looking for other real estate options, I'd like to invite you to our website, dopanama.com. Here, you're gonna find our real estate network with listings from over 95 affiliates throughout the country, giving you the ability to find the most amount of options available here in Panama. And if you're just at the beginning stages of considering Panama for retirement, relocation, or investing, however, you have no idea what destination is gonna be right for you, I invite you to do our 23 question, where should I live relocation survey. It's a free survey and just takes a couple of minutes and it will give you a lot of great ideas about the different lifestyles available here in Panama. Also, once you submit that survey, my team will then contact you to set up a 30 minute complimentary Zoom call with myself to then get on that Zoom call and discuss all the answers to your questions and give you the most viable information possible. After that, we'll set you up to come on down here to Panama and help you find the dream. Now, if this is your first time checking out a Do Panama vlog, I invite you to hit that subscription button and tap on that notification bell so you get notified each time we put out a video. And if you enjoyed this video, my team and myself appreciate the cost-friendly support with a like, a love, or a comment on this video. Or if you don't mind, we'd also appreciate if you could share this on your Facebook or any other social media that you use. And remember, with this new partnership between Do Panama and Impresses Burn, you qualify as a Do Panama client for our Fly and Try Before You Buy program. That's right, guys. Come on down here, check it out. And if you end up buying a unit, you get compensated for all of your trip. Some restrictions apply, so make sure to reach out to my team for details. And if you're already here in Panama and you would prefer to have two free scooters with your purchase, I know that those will go great for that rentability of your unit. Remember guys, any questions or to get a hold of my team, simply email us info at dopanama.com or give us a call, send us a text message or a WhatsApp message to the number you see here on the screen. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoy this real estate tour here in beautiful Costa del Este, Panama City. However, until next time, ciao!